You need to make people work their way up to the top in your life. You can't just meet somebody today and because you have the same sense of humor or because you have the same number of siblings, oh my gosh, you're my friend. Oh, oh. Welcome to class everybody. This is Professor Tommy's course or lesson on how to classify your friends slash the people in your life. So if you're one of those people that doesn't know how to put people in their place, you don't know how to compartmentalize, then this lecture right here is for you. Get your pen, get your paper, your notebook and make sure you take notes and apply it to your day to day life because that's the only way that you change. Actually, let me take these glasses off so you guys know I'm serious because there's a reflection showing. Yes, that is the only way that your life is going to be together in this area if you take notes and apply them. If you don't, then it's not going to happen. But without too much talking and without further ado, let's get into the lesson, how to classify friends slash people in your life. Are you ready? Okay, so if you're a visual learner, this will be very, you'll benefit a lot from this. If you're not a visual learner, just make sure you pay attention if you're audio if you're audio visual okay so let me just draw the diagram for you i need to move to this side so it starts like a pyramid this is the pyramid okay and there are certain layers to the pyramid so first of all everybody in your life starts out as a stranger stranger is here And after stranger, the next step, next position is what? Casual acquaintance. Okay. And after casual acquaintance, we have friendly or familiar acquaintance. Familiar acquaintance. And after a familiar acquaintance, you have a fraquaintance. A fraquaintance is between an acquaintance and a friend. I'll explain what all of these um, terms imply and what they all mean in case you're confused and you don't really know what I'm saying. But just, just keep listening, you'll understand. What did I say was the next one? I said fraquaintance. Make sure you're taking notes. This is friend plus acquaintance. And after this, you have friend. Then after friend, you have close friend. And then this is like bestie slash you know that person that you're so close that they are like sisters or they are like brothers yeah they are here you need to make people work their way up to the top in your life you can't just meet somebody today and because you have the same sense of humor or because you have the same number of siblings oh my gosh you're my friend you skipped stranger, skipped casual acquaintance, skipped family acquaintance, fraquaintance, and just went straight to friend. Do you know what a friend is? Is the person loyal to you? Would the person be there for you in your time of need? Ask yourself all these questions before you tell somebody that they're your friend or before you give somebody that title. So now let's start with stranger. Let me highlight so you guys know the one I'm talking about. This stranger. Oops, sorry. Stranger 
everybody knows what a stranger is somebody you don't really know somebody you just met you know very unfamiliar or maybe you even like see them in school on campus or at an event and stuff where you've never spoken to them they're still a stranger because you don't know anything about them so anybody that you don't know any, anything about especially if you've never spoken to them stranger stranger zone only the next we have is a casual acquaintance casual acquaintances are those people that are introduced to you by like a mutual friend a friend group but you don't really click like that but when you see the person you just say hi the conversations are extremely surface level hi what course are you taking this semester oh okay are you going to grocery shop right now oh okay it was nice talking to you good luck on exams bye that's where a casual acquaintance is nothing more than super surface level like it feels very uncomfortable when you and a casual acquaintance are in the same place alone because you and that person just don't have that relationship and this is some people's place in your life leave them as casual acquaintances let them earn your trust this is how you have trust issues when you skip all these steps and fly to friend close friend or bestie and you expect your heart not to be broken no you make people earn your trust some people don't have the same definition of friendship as you do and if they don't then they, they can't be your friend because you guys are not very you're not compatible and that's one thing you're not going to know if someone is your casual acquaintance okay so casual acquaintance is for um like i said very surface level that's what casual acquaintance is and that's fine like maybe you guys might um with work you guys might help each other out for certain things like that's fine but um it just doesn't go beyond surface level next step familiar acquaintance now what differentiates a casual acquaintance and a familiar acquaintance from each other the difference between a casual acquaintance let me change my highlighter maybe it'll be more visible the difference between a casual acquaintance and a familiar acquaintance could be their personalities. Some people are more, you know, some people you're just like, you just vibe with them more when you first meet them. Some people it's very, very, it's very rough or very like uneasy. So those uneasy vibes, uneasy conversations, maybe because the person is not emotionally intelligent or they just only want to talk about school or what you read in your textbook. It's like, it's very... The energy is kind of tight then they stay in the casual acquaintance casual acquaintance category familiar acquaintances however are people maybe you talk to on a regular basis so with a familiar acquaintance let me give you an example so you're in school you're in university or college you have uh, this friend or you know this person you guys are in the same program or taking the same course and um, you study together and stuff like that but one, once the semester ends that's it the relationship is what non-existent the person is familiar because you still kind of you still talk to each other and like maybe vibe with each other or play the role in each other's lives while the semester was um ongoing but once the semester went they disappeared so when real life actually came they were not there and this is not their fault everybody has their place in people's lives so familiar acquaintances go yeah they could also be more like maybe talkative people so it might be easy to talk to them about more stuff or maybe they are more open and stuff but a good example is what i mentioned those people that you talk to during the semester you study with maybe you guys even talk about your relationship life or your single life or how broke you are and laugh about it but after the semester you guys will not even make eye contact you may not even see the person again so that's a familiar acquaintance okay so familiar acquaintances are more than surface level less than deep and could be a, a classmate in college or university i'm sure you all know people like that in your life if you're, sorry if you're a student even in high school i'm sure you all know people like that so now let's leave familiar acquaintance and go to frequentance. Frequentances are those people that are in between friend and acquaintance. 
you talk to them more than you will talk to an acquaintance or you share maybe a bit more stuff than you that you would share with just an ordinary acquaintance but not enough for the person to be your friend so it's like they are just in that spots where it's like they're not my acquaintance but they're not my friend do you get what i mean so you're more familiar with them than this most people um most people with common sense like people that actually know how to categorize and compartmentalize when it comes to people in their lives they will say that uh, if a acquaintance is someone that they're cool with like if they say oh tommy do you know tommy do you know I'm trying to think of a name um told me do you know my yeah yeah we're cool so if i'm saying we're cool it's like frequentance i'm not going to be like yeah we're frequentances maybe one day i will because you know in my break records maybe i'll enter guinness book of records like that i don't know how that has to do with this but yes frequentances you're more familiar with them than an acquaintance but they are not really your friend i like yeah, you guys may share some personal stuff, but you won't really say, oh, this person is your friend because you just don't hang out that much or like you just don't talk that much. Like you, you won't go out of your way to check up on this person, but when you see them, you actually talk to them. So that's what a frequentance is. Like I said, people that you're cool with. Now, I also wanted to mention a comrade. A comrade is somebody that you guys help each other with like fights or get through certain things so for example in college if there was this one person that you guys used to help each other like finish the semester you always send each other test banks or you send each other like answers for quizzes and stuff you guys are always trying to help each other pass or get good grades or finish school and stuff like that those people are your comrades they are people that you you know fight battles with together so now for me for example a comrade can be somebody in like the entertainment industry that is also trying to get in there and me and them we're always sending each other gigs and like all these things maybe we even get booked for some of the same things that's who a comrade is but i know most people don't say comrade because they are what cowards but I mean, the, the comrade could also fall into a familiar acquaintance too because if you guys are helping each other with certain things, I guess that's more than just a super casual acquaintance, if you get what I'm saying. Now, let's move to the next one, friend. This word is the one that is just thrown out, thrown around, just like no man's business. And you might think I'm an unserious teacher because I'm dancing, but I have to emphasize the way people use this friend word. The way people just throw around this friend word, like it needs to change. Like not everybody is your friend. This is how you get hurt. You get hurt when you overestimate the position or the value that someone placed in your life, or or the value, so like the value that um someone brought to your life. When you overestimate it, and you don't remove your your two shells in your eyes or scales or your rose colored glasses and put them in the category that they deserve why are you scared to call someone your casual acquaintance or your familiar acquaintance why is it the end of the world why must everybody be friend 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 and for those of you that think that calling somebody anything other than friend is offensive stop being an ass kisser stop being a people pleaser it's not it's not it doesn't benefit how does it benefit you they are not your friend friend is somebody that you guys are compatible you have similar morals and values you guys can help each other out with certain things you're good additions to each other's lives you have the same definition of friendship i cannot stress this enough that's part of similar morals and values um, hopefully both of you are self-aware and emotionally intelligent so that if somebody does something that the other person was not okay with the person that wasn't okay with it can tell the person and the other person will be able to see from the offended person's point of view okay if you're not self-aware and emotionally intelligent with your friend with your friends go and check yourself and um, let me also address friend groups with friend groups um, the dynamics are different with everybody so some people might be closer to one person than another and that's totally fine you just like gel well with some people more than others but um yeah like i guess everybody in your friend group can be your friend but not necessarily your close friend or your bestie some of them might even be frequentances or casual okay no no, <laughs> no casual acquaintance if you're in a friend group with somebody that is your casual acquaintance and you're calling them your friend and they're your casual acquaintance 
Check yourself. Come and take this course. I hope you're taking notes. Don't worry. I'm not going to grade you guys because I want everybody to be happy and I want everybody to pass. Okay? Your real life is what is going to determine if you're going to apply this or not. So, yes, a friend is someone that actually has been no value to your life. And it can be to just one area of your life. Learn how to compartmentalize. Maybe you have one friend that... Um, as long as you guys bond over more than one thing, for example, if the person is not just the parting person or just the, work, the friend you work out with, then they can be your friend. If I have a friend that I work out with and um, I also trust the person, and sometimes I tell them about, let's say, mental health issues, yeah, that can be like my mental health, I guess, confidence type of friend. I mean, confidence is different though, which usually comes in like, in the form of a mentor or a therapist or a counselor which does not necessarily which is not necessarily your friend group right personally um i wouldn't necessarily want to mix both i don't like to mix relationships and you guys need to do the same thing compartmentalize and put people in their place you don't need to have one person in your life that's your bestie your therapist your counselor your gym buddy your photographer everything like do you want them to faint <laughs> like they're just one person they can just be your friend for one thing for example i have a friend that like you people people that have been watching me since you i know sherry sherry is also a creative and we've done like concept photo shoots together we've done a video on my channel so sherry is like my friend even though it's not just business stuff that we do, do together i'm actually friends in real life like she's my friend for like content related stuff slash like a creative career but also the other things that we talk about if it was just strictly creative then the person can be Maybe she would have been in the frequentance zone or she would have been like, yeah, or a comrade. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just being honest. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, if you think we're friends and we're casual acquaintances and you call me a friend and you feel embarrassed, that's your personal problem. That's your business. So let me just reiterate this here. Sorry, I have to go this way similar morals and values like i have some friends that are good for you know talking about god i have some friends that are good for like working out or one or two friends that are good for like working out and also taking nice pics like as long as it's not just purely surface level or just one thing and you trust the person i think the person can be your friend if you don't trust somebody you're not even sure you trust somebody you don't even know how many siblings they have or if they prefer spicy food or if they have a sweet tooth and you're calling the person your friend friends know more than that about it about each other now close friend <clears throat> close friend is somebody you've known for a period of time you can trust this person with a lot of things you guys really connect like you feel like inseparable um i i should actually mention close friend and bestie some people um use both terms interchange interchangeably and those are the only two interchangeable terms that are acceptable in this whole lesson don't interchange casual acquaintance with bestie or familiar acquaintance with friend no it's only close friend and bestie that you can you know interchange maybe i should stand here so i don't block everything that i wrote um no actually <laughs> never mind but yeah, you trust them. You can share certain sides of yourself with them. You might not even mind them seeing your ugly side, your good side, your bad side. They're very supportive of you. Um, but with whatever you choose to do with your life. Like, they're always there for you. They always show up for you when you need them the most. They'll pray for you. Um, actually, a friend can also pray for you. And maybe a frequentance, yeah. If, if the frequentance is like a church frequentance or something, then they can probably pray for you too. But yeah, like your close friends are just those people that you can go to, and you should not be afraid to be yourself in front of them. Ca stranger, casual acquaintance, family acquaintance, all those ones, they've not really earned seeing the real, I guess, vulnerable you. You need to let people see you in phases. You can't just meet someone today and be like, hi this is what i've gone through this is the toughest thing i've been through this is my weakest thing or this is my biggest weakness sorry this is my biggest struggle like why are you telling a stranger or maybe casual acquaintance maybe you met them through a mutual friend 
why are you telling them all of that and then you get heart broken that oh my gosh like uh, whenever i tell people stuff like i'm just so open and i have the best intentions and like it gets thrown in my face or or gossiped about behind my back yeah because you have to make people earn your trust okay so if if you meet somebody and they cannot pass any of these levels they should not be coming here these places are only for certain people people that can show you and prove to you that they deserve to be there okay so let me recap this these two are interchangeable so this is my lesson on how to classify the people in your life you need to learn how to compartmentalize against 2022 in 2022 you can't be giving people titles and positions that they do not work for everybody needs to work for this if they want to be in your life if they want to know things about you if they want to know certain secrets or vulnerabilities they have to work their way up if they can't work their way up sorry you're not trustworthy thank you for showing me in the early stages so i don't invest my heart my feelings my commitment into a solid friendship and just like throw it in my face at the end and be like haha i had the last laugh you don't want anyone doing that to you 2022 this does not mean you should have a cold heart but you should actually be kind of guarded you shouldn't just be letting people in people need to earn it your trust your loyalty all of that it's not for everybody it's not like everybody has their place in your life okay so that's my lesson today on how to classify the people in your life i hope this lesson let me move back a little bit so you can see i hope this lesson has helped you guys to be able to um compartmentalize or at least will help you if that's something you really struggled with this 2022 is a time for you to like focus on being better at compartmentalizing and putting people in places that they deserve and not giving them more energy than they deserve or that they are willing to give you if you're willing to go here north south east and west for somebody and they are not willing to blink an eye when you're in danger no it should not be anywhere stranger or casual acquaintance that's the most okay i hope you guys learned from this you can take a screenshot now okay so that you can refer to this when your head when your brain when your common sense <laughs> is about to go missing because you're meeting new people and you're meeting a guy that you like throw those feelings outside the window and apply this common sense because a guy that you like should even also be your friend anyways um yeah thank you guys once again like i said take a screenshot give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it okay make sure to subscribe for more lessons comment in the comments which part resonated with you or if you agree with all of this if you don't agree that's fine you can decide to give everybody all of your heart but you're going to deal with the consequences and the repercussions thank you so much again for coming to class with me and i'll see you in my next video next lesson next lecture or whatever bye